Linux Mint. To say it's a popular Linux distribution would be an understatement. Mint has long been regarded as one of the most approachable distros around and is among the first that new users should consider. But what's up with the Debian edition of Mint? Well, join me for today's video and I'll give you the scoop. Hello again everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video, we're going to check out Linux Mint Debian Edition, the Debian alternative of Linux Mint. It's based on Debian instead of Ubuntu, and I think it's worth checking out, even though it doesn't seem to get all that much attention. And it hasn't had all that much attention on this channel either, but I'm going to fix that in today's video because LMDE is going to be the focus of today's video. So what I'll do is give you all the details about the Debian edition of Linux Mint. I'll let you know how it differs from traditional Mint, and I'll also review the most recent release as well. And during my time with LMDE, I really enjoyed myself. I had a ton of fun with this distribution, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. So what I'll do in today's video is tell you all about how LMDE differs from normal Mint, who should try this out, why it even needs to exist in the first place, and also I'll give you a full review of the latest release. Now with all of that out of the way, it's time to dive in. So without any further hesitation, let's check out Linux Mint Debian Edition. So what exactly is LMDE? Well, as I mentioned earlier, LMDE stands for Linux Mint Debian Edition, and by the name alone, you can easily tell that it has something to do with Debian. The shortest description that I could come up with in regard to LMDE is that it's Linux Mint, but it's built on top of Debian rather than Ubuntu. And Debian itself is one of my favorite distributions. It's super stable, and by using it, you don't have to deal with change nearly as often as you might with other distributions. While you might upgrade distros such as Ubuntu or Fedora twice a year, Debian is lucky if it gets more than one release in a single year, but on average probably releases every two years or so. The thing is, Debian doesn't have an exact release schedule, and the reason for that is because Debian doesn't rush things out the door to meet corporate deadlines like other distributions do. In fact, it's a community distribution, which is something that a lot of Linux users feel more comfortable with. The fact that Debian doesn't change as quickly also makes it quite attractive for anyone that wants to start their own distribution, as it serves as a great foundation for other distros. But whenever people talk about Linux Mint, they're most often talking about the traditional version that's based on Ubuntu. If you download Mint from the official website without looking for anything in particular, that's the version that you'll likely end up with. While Mint has a few different flavors available for download, the flagship version is the one that's based on Ubuntu with the Cinnamon Desktop. And you know what? Mint is pretty good. It's easy to use, and the Cinnamon Desktop gives you an experience that's more akin to classic desktop operating systems, but with modern technologies thrown in. And it's already on my channel right now, so I'll leave a card for that review right about here if you want to check that out. Now, the thing is, the very existence of LMDE is fairly confusing for newcomers. I mean, why does this even need to exist? If the distribution mirrors the Ubuntu version so much that it's hard to tell the difference, which is the case, they look nearly exactly the same, then why does this distribution need to exist in the first place? Is it redundant? And you know what? It is redundant. It's very redundant. But the thing is, when you peel back the layer of redundancy around LMDE, there are some things about it that make it worth checking out. In fact, LMDE is probably more redundant than it might seem at first. Debian itself features an official Cinnamon version of that distribution, so that means you could use the Cinnamon desktop on Debian even if you completely disregard Mint. So again, if LMDE is so redundant, then why does it need to exist? Sorry to interrupt myself, but I just wanted to let you know that I really enjoy making this content for you guys. I have a ton of fun. If you enjoy the content that I produce, then please consider supporting Learn Linux TV. The thing is, producing content like this isn't cheap. So by giving back to the channel, you can help me make even more content for you guys. And to find out more about how you can support Learn Linux TV, what you could do is go to support.learnlinux.tv and there you'll find some of the ways that you can help support the channel. Anyway, let's get back to the video. The first reason for the creation of LMDE is that it isn't all that beneficial to end users, at least not directly. The basic idea is that the Debian edition is maintained alongside the traditional Ubuntu version, just in case the team decides to abandon Ubuntu and rebase completely on Debian. If the team was to do that, then it wouldn't be nearly as much work to rebase the main version of Mint on Debian since they're doing the work anyway. But that's more of a benefit to Mint's developers than it is to end users. 
However, the Debian version of Mint does actually offer some benefits to users. First, the obvious is that for one reason or another, some people may not like Ubuntu. If any of those people want to use Mint but don't want to use Ubuntu, they can get the same Mint experience as anyone else while still using a distribution with a more community-supported foundation. Another benefit is that LMDE maintains its own version of the Cinnamon desktop rather than just using the one that Debian themselves provide. Perhaps Debian is your preferred distribution, and maybe Cinnamon might be your preferred desktop, but you want to run the latest Cinnamon on Debian, and if that's you, then LMDE is currently the best way of achieving that. I'll go over more of the differences between the two as the video continues, but what I just went over is the basic idea behind LMDE. Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do is focus exclusively on LMDE for the remainder of the video. What I'm going to do is give you my thoughts on this distribution after having spent some time on it. So what are my thoughts on LMDE? Well, let's take a look at the review section of this video and I'll give you all of my thoughts. First, let's look at the installer. The installation process is more or less the same as traditional Mint, at least functionally. You boot the system into live mode, double click the installer icon, answer the questions, and then you're done. So pretty straightforward. But the installer is completely different in LMDE, even if it is the same routine in practice. One installer doesn't seem to have any benefit when compared to the other, but since they do have visual differences, I figured I'd mention it. But either way, the installation process is quick and painless. Once I logged in after installation, one difference I noticed right away is that the desktop that I ended up with was an older version of Cinnamon. I expected to be on the same version of the desktop as traditional Linux Mint in version 21.3, so I was fairly surprised to see Cinnamon 5 instead. But thankfully, that was easily resolved. I simply installed all available updates, and one of those updates was for Cinnamon, which put me at the same major version as normal Mint. Now, it may not seem like a big deal, but upgrading the desktop is somewhat rare. With LMDE, you have a greater likelihood of getting a hold of the newer version than what Debian itself would normally give you. It's almost like a rolling release. Well, in a way. Rolling releases generally give you the latest version of everything, while Mint doesn't. They only selectively upgrade things as required to bring it consistent with the normal version. For the most part, you're getting the packages that are shipped with normal Debian, but the Mint developers, what they're doing is putting additional things on top of it that bring it more current with normal Mint. To me, it's pretty amazing how close LMDE is to the standard variant. As long as you're fully up to date, it could be very hard to even tell the difference, at least at first glance. On both LMDE as well as Normal Mint, we have the same desktop layout, the same theme, and many of the same apps. So whether you want to use one over the other depends primarily on your preference. Now one potential downside of LMDE that you should know about is that it doesn't have the same level of support when compared to Normal Mint. Both versions go out of their way to cater to end users, but the traditional Mint build does a better job of facilitating users than LMDE does. Not majorly so, but there are notable differences. For example, consider the NVIDIA driver. The flagship version of Mint features a driver's app, and you could use that app to check and see if any additional drivers are available for your hardware. In the case of NVIDIA, it's just a few clicks away if you want to install the proprietary driver. But in LMDE, installing the proprietary NVIDIA driver isn't nearly as easy. In fact, there isn't even a driver's app in LMDE at all. If you want to install special drivers in LMDE, you'll have to consult Debian's documentation in order to figure out how to do so. And this means that unless you're sure you have all the drivers that you need to have installed, your experience with LMDE might not be as good as traditional Mint out of the box. And I think that's the only real potential downside when it comes to LMDE. LMDE is geared more towards intermediate users, since some Debianisms, such as drivers, might cause you to jump through additional hoops that you normally wouldn't need to deal with. But other than that, it's pretty good. And during my time with LMDE, I came away very impressed overall. It's the exact same experience as normal Mint, at least for the most part. With Debian as its base, you can expect fewer changes and more stability. And for fans of Debian, I think having access to the latest Cinnamon desktop might be reason enough to consider this distribution. After all, Cinnamon is pretty cool. So is LMDE redundant? Well, yes, it is, but it's a good redundant. It's a good distribution. If you want to have the same experience that you would normally get with traditional Linux Mint, but on a Debian base, LMDE is a great way to accomplish that, pretty much the only way to accomplish that. So I definitely recommend that you try it out. 
There's a live mode here, so you don't have to wipe your current operating system in order to try it out. So why not give it a shot and see if you like it? And if you do get a chance to check it out, well, let me know in the comments down below exactly what you think of this release. I can't wait to read what you guys have to say. In the meantime, though, be sure to subscribe to Learn Linux TV for the latest in Linux, and I'll see you in the next video.